Okay, hi everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very basic lady beetle cake. I have my vanilla cake to start up in the round pyrex bowl. And now I am going to, I just have a bowl of my buttercream recipe icing. I'm just going to put some of the white into a separate bowl because I have to colour some of it red and I have to colour some of it black. So that should be about enough to cover this cake. Mm -hmm. My mouth, good luck. Now I'm just using the Pillar Box Red food colouring and you need to add quite a bit of this to the mix to get the nice vibrant red otherwise you wind up with pink so speaking of that I'm going to take just a little bit out because you are going to need to add more icing sugar to this to get it the nice red that we want I'm just very gently going to just sort of cut that with the knife. And if you actually get a close look at it, it is going to curdle and split. But this is why we add more icing sugar to it. So once you've got the bulk of the food colouring added to it, as you can see, it's going a nice vibrant red there. It's not going pink. We just got to add. A bit of the red to it. So now that we've got the majority of that mixed through, as you can see, it's really, really runny now. So I'm just going to add just a touch more icing sugar to that, just to thicken it back up again. And that is how we create our beautiful red icing. As you can see that's starting to thicken up again. And that's about the right consistency that we're looking for there. And that's how we do our red icing. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just put this onto the top of my cake. And just work it from the top to the bottom. I'm just shifting this over a bit because I've still got her um, little ladybug head to go on. So I'm just going to ice that right down to the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover this entire cake and I will be back very very soon to show you what more to do. Okay now that's fully covered from top to bottom. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of this red icing into a piping bag because I'm just going to go just around the base of this with a little bit of the piping. Okay. 
probably about enough. Okay, so real quick, just around the bottom. just to finish that part of the cake off. Now, now what I'm going to do is I have some of the, just the fondant. If you wish to, you can make a separate cake to use as the head. But for today in particular, I'm just going to use a nice big ball of icing for the ladybug's face. So I've gone ahead and just coloured this red. As you can see, nice red hands. And my lovely assistant has nice red hands as well. So I'm just going to roll that into a nice ball. As round as possible. This icing, when you add food colouring to it, does go sticky. So you need to be constantly adding a bit of icing sugar to it. So you get the desired colour that you need. So I am just going to go ahead and put that about there. And that is our widow weighty bug's head. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and make up a little bowl of black icing. Okay, now I've gone ahead and made up a bowl full of the black icing, same as the red icing. I've just used the black um, food dye. As the red one, you will need to use a fair bit to make it go nice and black. And once it's all mixed in, just add your bit of extra icing sugar to it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this in my packing bag. Okay, so I've got my um, black into my packing bag. And I'm just going to pipe a black line straight down the middle of his back. some little circles. Anywhere you want, there is no particular order where the lady beetles spots need to go. Wherever takes your fancy. Now all I'm going to do for her little antlers is I've just got a piece of red licorice, you can use black licorice, I just couldn't find any at the time, just fold it in half, I'm just going to snip a bit off, and we're just going to poke that into our icing here. Okay, now for a gonna give her some little eyeballs. And that 
that, ladies and gentlemen, is our um, final product for our little ladybug. I just had to trim a little antlers up because they were looking a little bit saggy daggy. And that's it, that's the finished product. Very quick, very easy. Black and red. Easy. Happy baking, everybody.